This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. It's not okay. That was a clip from a show, Heather B, that, that came on television, mm -hmm. um, network TV. And after watching it, the first um, episode of the first season, I felt like my IQ level heightened. Mm. <laughs> I could just shut up. I felt smarter. Yeah. You know, it was like, <laughs> I felt like, damn, I just completed a course in college. Um, and it was very entertaining. Um, and it introduced a lot of characters that are relatively new. Um, yeah. Some of which have done a lot of work, um, who've been, like our guest today, who's done a lot of work, including with the Harry Potter series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's where I first really got a chance to see this guy who spoke with this um, English accent very uh, easily. I realized he was from the UK. Um, he's here with us today. He plays Wes on How to, Wait, How to Get Away with Murder. Please welcome to the show the one and only Alfred Enoch, ladies and gentlemen. What's hey, up, Alfred. guys? Thank you very much. Thanks welcome, for having bro. me, guys. The black guy in Harry Potter. Yeah, get yeah. it up for that. Yeah. Uh, just cut through the chase, Come man. On. <laughs> Come on. I was like, yeah, yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> I like this guy, man. Welcome to the show. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Guys. Absolutely. I said the B Tracy. Did, did you um you so you grew up in London, right? I did, yeah. Did All you hear my ways. London? You heard how I said that? <laughs> You grew up in no, London. Oh, okay, oh, oh, boy. It's okay. It's so sweet. I'm not going to pass that for that Okay, one. okay. <laughs> All right, you did it. Now, um, in, 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 in London, like, who? Damn, you hear that? I'm hearing it. You hear now? I'm, I'm, my accent is changing, That's right? Contagious. It's okay. I'm on it's that Madonna wrong. shit right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, when rappers like if Nicki Minaj or Madonna or these people from the States start. Britney Spears. Though. Britney Spears start trying to speak with a London accent. How do people in London feel about that? Uh, have they all tried to speak in London accent? Yes. Damn, you, that, Dawn, you get... <laughs> I think it's best that we don't know. No, you, that, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, maybe that's how people feel about me talking my American the whole time. So I was, I'm going to put that apology out. No, right your, now, your so American about... sounds pretty. You get away. Yeah. Sounds all right. I didn't, I even, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. That you're you're UK. Yeah, I'm, I was shocked that's when cool. you walked in and started talking. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, He's not Wes. Like I just was waiting for uh, the, char the character just to like yeah. roll in. How did you learn an English accent? An English accent? Well, I well, mean, well, American. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like... get this a lot. You know what? I actually get this a lot. This is um, Asia, Asia Naomi King, right? Who's mm -hmm. on the show? She plays Michaela. She's yeah. great. Yeah. Good friend of mine. We're all very tight. Um, <laughs> she always says things to me like, "Why don't you speak English when I say something that's like." English, not yeah. American English. Yes. So she's like, you should speak proper English. I was like, I, I hope you're aware of the irony of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, often she's not. Yeah, right. Uh, you know. None of us are. We, we say you have the accent. Yeah, people. Well, people yeah. say that actually because yeah. I usually when I'm uh, when we're shooting, yeah. I speak in the American accent that I use on the show pretty much the whole time. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll talk to people, you know, maybe I'll be like chatting to someone if I get a lift in L.A. because I don't have a car. So if I'm not taking the bus, I'm, you know, I'm ride sharing, which is kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like I'm talking to the guy and he's like, so where are you from? Because like in L.A., I guess no one assumes anyone's from L.A., right? And yeah. Like, yeah. Where, <laughs> where have yeah, you come yeah, here from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm from London. And then people will be like, you have no accent. And I'm like, well... Yeah, I have an American accent yeah. now. Do you know what I mean? It's like for me, it's not like point zero. Right? Yeah, people sort of say yeah. accent, no accent. Like British is an accent, American isn't. Yeah, British is the original, right? Language. The original comes, right, comes yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> not, just, not, 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 not what it's morphed into, huh? The, well, I mean, I'm English. just saying English. It's, yeah. Yeah, we, it's we're, the we're purest struggling. form of English. We're struggling over right. here. Right? Teach Alfred. us, y'all. Teach us. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, let's change the subject. Change the subject. Change the subject. Change the subject. <laughs> so, like that's crazy. <laughs> So, so how did you grow up in London? Like, what was were you a middle from a middle class family? Do you have yeah. a lot of siblings? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm my um, my mom's from Brazil. Um, I'm sorry, I just that's right. a natural what reaction. Right there? Yeah. Oh god! What happened right there? Oh my bad. <laughs> Chill out, yo. No, we just had a uh, what's uh, Adriana no, no. Lima come ah, on yeah. the show, the supermodel right, from Brazil. Yeah, yeah so ooh. oh wow, so yeah. bad. I'm that's sorry. No, no meaning. Dis that say no I'm disrespect Brazil, to your mom. There. Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, so your mom's from Brazil. So my mom's from Brazil, <laughs> um, and she and my dad met um, in Rio, but. They've lived in London all this time. I was born and raised in London. Uh, and my dad's, my dad is like a, I mean, he was 91 
That's not mm. the first thing. So he was mm. born. He was born in 1924, which is wow. a time ago. Um, what type of stories does he tell you? Some crazy things. <laughs> like he was, your father is 91 yeah, years he's old. Yeah, 91 years old. What year were you born? Uh, 1988. 88, yeah. so I do the math. And too much of the, Ninth, so your dad 60, had you when he was 64. Four. Some potent sperm, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass that along too. <laughs> Tell your dad, I said, that's my man right God there. God damn, you got siblings? Yeah, so I have, so my siblings, it's a bit of a strange, I now realize like, you know, in the context of everyone else's like family setup, that's mm -hmm. actually quite, unusual <laughs> obviously for me it was just normal so i have uh two sisters and a brother mm -hmm. but they're half siblings of mine mm -hmm. and they are much older than me right mm -hmm. so they're from my dad's first marriage so my brother who's the youngest of them is 50 and i'm gonna be 51 wow. so he came and visited me in la recently and the other thing is my dad's white mm -hmm. my mom's black um all my siblings are white Wow. So we'd go out for like drinks, you know, or something. If I'm not working, mm -hmm. you know, we're in a bar and someone like comes up and is like, oh, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. You get chatting. And they're like, so what's the deal with you guys? Why are you guys hanging out? Because like, you know, I look like I'm That's about right, like five. So I look like I shouldn't. Shit, they, to, they think you his butler, huh? <laughs> oh, man. That ain't right, man. That is not right, man. That's not right, Alfred. You work too hard, man. Alfred is a butler's name, too. Butler. Alfred was Batman's butler. <laughs> Either that or a driver, right? Because it's <laughs> Alfie, yeah. so everyone else calls it so it's one oh of the two. Oh my that's great. Uh, <laughs> so interesting. Oh man, I love your life For right real? now. Oh, Jeez. What did you study? What did you study acting? Um, I didn't actually study acting. That's really? another like twist. Throw that one in. Probably a lot of people at home would be like, all oh, right, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> so how did you get into it? Because um, my dad's an actor. Oh. So I was like, you know, I did that thing that probably a lot of kids do, which is like, I was like, oh, I want to do what my dad does. Mm -hmm. And then like, I actually had a look at what my dad does. And I was like, that's fun. Like, you can get paid for doing that. That looks great. Um, that's probably not what I thought at the time. Actually, I probably thought that's just fun. And then later when people were like, that's a real job. Mm -hmm. And I got in the Harry Potter movies. I was like, this is a real thing. Ooh, like yeah. I could do this for a living. I was like, I'm playing characters and like telling stories and all of this. This is going to be fun. Um, so that's kind of how I got into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I ended up, what I studied was Spanish and Portuguese. Okay. Um, slightly, but not that randomly. So like my, you know, my mom's from Brazil. Mm -hmm. We speak Portuguese. Um, my dad doesn't, pretty much doesn't speak a word of Portuguese. So that's useful. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you get away with murder. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go into music out of that one, all right? <laughs> Let the moment boy. breathe, all right? Uh, Alfred, Alfred Enoch is here, 888-742-2334. Am I saying your last name right, by the way? Enoch, yeah, you okay, got it. Okay, okay, give it. us a call. Sway it away in the morning. <laughs> Alfred Enoch is here. You know him as Wes Gibbons from How to Get Away with Murder. New season starting tomorrow night. So we want you to watch Revolt TV. The Sway in the Morning Doomsday Cypher tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then you can watch How to Get Away with Murder, too. <laughs> be good. <laughs> good pairing. Be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a show. You know, we do, we do uh, something that's going to uh, air on Revolt TV the same night. So I got to divide the... Oh, I see. We're going to have to divide, divide the, the... Yeah, the, 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 the viewership. Wow. You know, um, I'm so not gonna, that's all right. Well, you can watch ours, or you gonna watch yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, watch everyone's, man. <laughs> we'll watch, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so this, this, this uh, Shonda Rhimes, man, she's mm. um, she's brilliant. She is pretty yeah. extraordinary, right? Yeah, she's, she's extraordinary. Doing? I mean, this how to get away with murder. You know, it's you know when I first started watching it, it was like, and people, you can't miss a week. Mm -mm. You, 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 you shouldn't miss a week. You can't miss like five minutes. No, no, no you I'll can't miss loop. like two minutes. No. Like, because it's flashing back, it's moving forward, <laughs> yeah. it's present, and it's really mentally stimulating to watch that show. You know, and then all the legal jargon that takes place. Right. You know, Alfred, at one point before I got into the music business, uh. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I'm Adam? listening because you no, know, no. always got a story. I got a story. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. No, listen to this, man. It's a man by the name of Michael Ashburn. Bear with me. This is your interview, but I'm about to invite you. <laughs> Michael Ashburn's from Oakland, California. A reputable, uh, uh, respect, respected attorney who wrote a book about publishing and royalties. When I st first started in the game um, in high school, 
I didn't have money to pay an attorney and I needed an attorney to do some contract work. And he said, how about I teach you about uh, entertainment law as we do the work. And when you make money, just pay me back. You know, his, you know, sidebar, his son was one of the members of the group Souls of Mischief, which is a group out of Oakland, uh, a legendary group, hieroglyphics, wow. the other funky homo sapiens, so on and so forth. Um, and so he started teaching me law. So I wanted to go to Hastings Law School in uh, Northern California, huh. but caught a lick doing this rap thing, you know. So I never went back. But whenever I do contracts, I'm able to read through it in a certain jar- jargon of terminology wow. that I could understand. So when I look at shows that deal with legal issues, I try to check for its accuracy. But this show is beyond my my reach. <laughs> you know, I was fiction. worried for a second. Yeah, I was no, like, where's no, this no, going? No, no. <laughs> and it's fiction, you know. And right. uh, so let me ask you. I mean, I, I don't know where your knowledge lies, but mm. um, you guys have to know a lot in order to memorize these scripts. Do you do you really absorb the information or are you just saying it? Mm. No, nah, you have to absorb the information. Mm. At least I, I try because you want to know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was It was kind of nice at the beginning <laughs> when the characters are standing up in class, especially like Wes, he doesn't know what he's talking about. So that's great. Yeah. Like, I don't need to look up men's rare. He doesn't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as it goes on, I mean, the, I guess the thing that helps us with that is that the show like has this very specific like legal setting. Mm-hmm. But it's so much about <clears throat> like the situations the characters get themselves into and, mm-hmm. and the, the crazy stuff that's going on. That, that it's, Do you know what I mean? It's not like plowing through a lot of, a lot of very intense yeah. like i'm not sitting there with like a legal mm-hmm. encyclopedia dictionary thing and just being like what am i mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so um and we have a legal consultant and the writers are good at that and actually one of the writers maybe two of the writers certainly at least one um was a lawyer i like, went to oh school, okay so, so okay yeah, yeah, we've yeah, got yeah. people who can answer our questions okay nice. yeah. okay that's i was curious good, about that it's and helpful. it's hard it seemed like we were talking with on Lowe's lowell's who's on scandal mm. and about the dialogue you know like and she was saying shonda would sit on the side of her while she did scenes because it's so much you know to uh, memorize and it's all about timing because right, it's so right, much right. script and time her, and if it wasn't, what? you know, she That's didn't. Terrifying. Do, yeah, yeah. Thirty <laughs> seconds. She said she was. You did. You did it thirty seconds faster the last take. Do y'all go through that as well? No, that's at least I don't. I think I've managed to establish a thing where like Wes isn't like the fastest. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Some okay. of the characters like are just like, yeah. and like I'm very glad that's yeah. not yeah. that's not me because that's intense. Because you've got you know. You've got to be clear about what you're saying. You've yeah. got to make sure it's, you know, it reads, mm-hmm. like people can understand what you're going on about, all of that stuff. And yeah, uh, Dude, that now, pace now, is hard. The, the pace is hard. I'm, I'm listening to you, Alfred. I'm just thinking of all these th- things that are coming to mind. Don't start, sorry I drifted off, but no, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's me. It's, it's not you, it's, it's, right. it's, it's me, it's me. It it's me. All right. Um, <laughs> what is the storyline between Annalise and Wes? Did they... Bang, bang, bang at some point. Like, uh, <laughs> did they? What, you're, did you're I reading, miss something? Did you miss something? There was a, a cutaway in that bathroom scene in the pilot, you know, when she rubs the, his chest. After that, there's a whole other scene. It was the deleted scene. We, no, it's not really happening. You're looking at me like I'm oh, talking for real. Come on, man. No, no. no but the, 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 those characters, I mean. The... Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Look, I mean, that's one of the crazy things about the show. Sometimes they're just like, how about this? We threw this in the pot and you didn't think that had happened, but like, it's a flashback and you're just like, what? Oh, that would have been useful to know that. Right. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're in the business of surprising anyone, everyone, not just the, not just the, the viewers, but no, the, the whole Wes and Elise thing is kind of explored uh-huh. in this second half of the season which starts tomorrow, so this okay. is all going to be okay, 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 okay. unwrapped. Okay, okay, that's unwrapped. what I need unwrapped. to hear right there. Right. Right. around that Twinkie. Wow, Hazard! Why you got that his, Twinkie? His skin is you, you beauty. Oh, that golden dude. Twinkie with a little ass on. He's so cute. I thought you were talking about his He's penis. He's buttery. <laughs> Okay. Buttery. Did somebody say penis? That's her. I, okay. I, 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 I said Twinkie. Oh, I was. I said the whole. But I'm thinking a little. I didn't go. She went lower. No, I and at least want that though. She want to cougar you. I, I was trying to have a professional interview here. I don't know what. <laughs> what's going on here? I don't know what they're doing. I have Alfred. a professional question. I do. I do. All right, Alfred. Since yeah. the show is so intense, mm. do you guys have any embarrassing moments that have happened? Do you guys joke behind the scenes? Oh yeah. 
all the time, far too much, probably. Um, that's kind of one of the, not the problems, that's one of the best things about the job, but we all get on very well and we spend a lot of time together and doing these like intense scenes. Um, thanks. That's, uh, that's, yeah, that's one of the sort of, that's one of the important things to like let off a bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it kind of started when we did the pilot in Philadelphia and it was this big, exciting thing and we were all new to it. And uh, they got us out there a week ahead of time. So uh, we basically had a week to sort of do costume things and things and basically spent the time like going out in Philly and getting to know each other. So that mm -hmm. like stood us in good stead. But you know, you've got people on that, hilarious people like Matt McGorry who plays Asher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's I mean, some of the things he comes up with, you just wouldn't even believe. So, like, pretty much any time I have a scene with him, mm -hmm. I'm I'm just, like, trying to work out if I can play it any other way than just, like, looking down and just <laughs> trying not to make it really obvious I'm just creasing the whole time, which is usually what I'm doing. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of... There's, there's a lot. There's occasionally, especially with him doing his really funny stuff, it's, 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 it's hard to keep a straight face. And, and you know, Viola Davis, man, um, I would be in awe in her presence mm, yeah especially especially when you got to do a scene with her mm -hmm. like like what do you get nervous that you're gonna fuck up you know what i mean like <laughs> <laughs> like screw up the script For um real. that's that's her you know what i mean yeah like, that's it, it's it, intense it, do you know what i mean yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't know it was gonna be viola when i got the part i think maybe it hadn't been announced yet so i was like I, you know i was like i've got to go over to philly shoot this pilot work out what this American accent is going to sound like mm -hmm. and like not make a fool of myself there and like it's a substantial part and responsibility and then I hear Viola Davis is doing it I'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> great that's wow. great no I was delighted and like excited and you know maybe a bit naively I was just like wow yeah. great <laughs> Viola Davis is in it it's going to be really exciting but like from another perspective there's that she's great and yeah. you, you want to bring it and you don't want to be you know I, I put a lot of pressure on myself anyway because you know i want to be happy with the work i'm doing and you know i want people to enjoy it so that's that's a feature anyway so it's all <laughs> that kind of side of like my anticipation about the whole thing is kind of almost maxed out by the time when I, heard it was I was yeah. like oh well you know yeah. well, I was triply the reason why i can't mess it up but yeah. i remember the first time i had a scene just me and her mm -hmm. was the scene like in the bathroom that like, mm -hmm. i alluded to and and she basically you know kind of pulls a fast one on him and tries to get him not to spill the beans about her affair mm -hmm. um and we were shooting this big party scene and then everyone else got wrapped and then it was just me and viola and i remember sort of walking around like just like thinking through the scene and making sure i had my head in the right place and i just looked to the side and i just saw our cast chairs and it just said viola davis and alfred enoch next to it and i just thought Oh, this is real. Yeah. <laughs> this is real. It's going down, baby. Do it. It's going down. <laughs> um, Alfred Enoch is here, How to Get Away with Murder. Uh, new season starting tomorrow night. HB, you, you, you want to ask? Yeah, I was just, when you said, you said you and Viola, has she ever given you any advice? She, um, yeah. I mean, look, she's given me lots of advice, right. yes. <laughs> you yeah. know, but um, it's not, she's not one of these people. And this is one of the great things about her. Mm. You know, she sort of leads by example and, and she gives you so much when you're playing with her because she brings so much to the scene. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and she does so much and she's so such a force mm -hmm. that it gives you a lot to play with and play off. So doing scenes with her are, is, you know, always a, a, like a real pleasure and a real mm -hmm experience um but she's not one of these actors who's just like you know, oh you should you should do, do this over, yeah. what are you doing do you know because that I, I you want that expertise and you want that you want to sort of take make the most of the experience that the people you're working with have but you don't want to feel like you're screwing it up right. all the time do you know yeah. what i mean or feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and that's something she really is great at she makes you feel at ease mm -hmm. and that, that's part of sort of bringing the best out of the people mm -hmm. you're working with. Because right? you're a professional too. Yep. You know yes. what I mean? And you're there wow, for shoot, a reason, shoot. right? Do you have groupies oh, yet? Groupies. <laughs> 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 no, the answer to that is definitely no. Definitely no. <laughs> no. no. Groupies? No one, no one wants to hang around me. Would you date a fan though? Would I date a fan? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess like, look, first Full disclosure, like, I've got a missus, so I'm not going to say anything that's going to get me in trouble. Okay. That's All right. right. Okay. That would be intelligent. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, like, she actually said, she, she, like, we met at university and, and she was directing a play that I was doing. And anyway, 
one thing led to another. Hey. Um, Did you murder it? Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to go uh, Alfred. Seriously. I'm on fire right now, Alfred. Uh, All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. So she was directing the play. Yeah, so she was directing this play. <laughs> I ended up doing it, but like a little later, she was like, oh, yeah, I really like Harry Potter. I was like, is, is that what this is about? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it wasn't. But it was funny because we, when they launched, they have this thing like the, the Harry Potter studio tour. Mm -hmm. um, and they invited us when they opened it. So we went along and I went with her and two other good friends of ours. We sort of all met kind of around the same time at university. And they're huge Harry Potter fans as well. So they were having a blast. And I was just like, yeah, I've, you know, I've got to play it cool a bit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, this was my workplace for 10 years. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm not going to put on the robe. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, right. And they're all like in their Gryffindor robes, and I was like, okay. Like, so like, I don't know. Maybe she, she, she is a bit of a Harry Potter fan, but she, she's not a fan of me. Well, hopefully she is in some sense. But like, do you know what I mean? She has, she's under no illusions. She's not like you're so amazing. She's like, you need to sort your shit out. Because <laughs> that is not organized. Yeah, or this, so she, keeps, she checks you good. She, yeah, she hey, you, you ever shape. talk with Daniel or um, what's the beautiful girl name? Emma. Emma. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> what's that beautiful girl's name? Uh, what's that? Uh, <laughs> she's, she's looking stunning. She's a very beautiful lady. Yeah, you're the, not wrong. Yeah, right. Do you, you guys stay in touch, or is it just the, no? You know, I haven't nothing. seen I haven't seen those guys for a while. Oh. I was thinking about I actually remembered quite randomly when I was at university. We had a night out which was me, Matt Lewis, who played Neville Longbottom in the movies. Mm -hmm. Emma was there and Freddie Stromer, who played Cormac McLaggen. Mm -hmm. And like randomly, we all ended up going out at university. Well, I was at university and they weren't at university there then. So like, I, I can't really remember how that came about. This, yeah. I think, was after the movies had finished and we just like went on a night out. Mm -hmm. But um, a couple of us see each other. I'm trying to see Matt when I get back to London. Okay, that's um, awesome. But people are always like flying around the Why world, yeah. fancy yeah. jobs. Okay, before you go, Alfred, um, mm -hmm. it's your first time on a show and usually when guests come for the first time, we have this thing we do. Heather, you want to tell them what it's about? You have to stick your hand in sway sack. Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> it's Sway's mystery sack on Shade 45. Yeah, Be gentle, Alfred. Be gentle. Yeah. All right, Sensitive. you have to pull out three questions, one at a time. Read it out loud, and you have to answer them honestly. I didn't know I was signing up for this. Good luck. Have a good rummage. Yeah. You <laughs> like it? Rummage. One at a time. One at a time. Yeah. One at a time. One at a time. Read it out loud. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> What's the first question? What's the worst place to have sex in your experience? Um, okay. You got a lady. Do I have to answer this question? Yes. It All would right. be I thought nice I was just putting it, you know. putting it to the nice people at home and in their cars. It's just like they can have a think about that, send in their answers. <laughs> you did like he was asking me the question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are you looking at me? That's your question. Um... um Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm censoring myself. I'm like, well, I can't say that one. That's not all right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite place then? This favorite no, no, I'll, I'll, answer answer I'll answer this. I'll answer this. I'm going to do it. I'll step out, up. Tracy. Right, um, in an uncomfortable uh, outdoor environment at the wrong time of year. Oh, at the, the in a wind probably. Yes. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> That's hypothetically what, speaking. Hypothetically yeah, okay, speaking. Okay. That okay. Would, okay. That would be that. Okay. Be All right. Cool. Question right. number two. You know what I'm saying? Based on your experience. No, based on uh, you know, yeah. based on my hypothetical. Okay. Your experience. hypothetical. Yeah. Experience. My hypothetical. I like, like that. In a baseball yeah, field protective. in a park with a lot of mosquitoes at night. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Damn, that's wow. very specific. <laughs> that is, that's oh, that's, that's right. hypothetical as well, is that's it? That's hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, hypothetical. I love it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you doing it, HB? Uh, what's the Make next feel question? Comfortable. Hello, we're all in it together, right? Yeah. We're all in sway sack. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Would you be willing to lie to a court for a close friend if it meant saving your friend from going to jail for life? Um... Are they going to be able to pull up transcripts of this interview if ever this happens? You know what I mean? No, that's, that would be a problem. I'd be like, no, I'm absolutely telling the truth. And I just get like the playback. And it was like, oh, this, obviously, this looks bad, but I was, no, you know, no. you're, I was hypothetical in the that's first a, question. Yes, yeah, right. so you could play on that. Um, 
I believe in like protecting my friends, stand up for my friends. You know what I'm like saying? Like that, ride or die. Like right that. Right, you can jump in the next question. That's a good answer. That's Last the best one. Answer. This is it. All Let's right. See. Let's see. What um, <laughs> <laughs> what's the longest you've gone wearing the same underwear? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a sway sack, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't write that one. I didn't write that one. <laughs> Have you got an answer for us? No, no, I don't want to know gonna... personally. But, I mean, that's, gotta, that's the question. But I guess I've got to step up the plate. Um, the longest, I mean, you know, if you're like <laughs> camping or something, or I don't know why I said camping. That's probably not. That's, that's probably not. That's thing. probably not right. Um, a, day, a day, two days. A day, two days. Right. I mean, I've, uh, you know, I've probably, I have definitely passed the two day mark. Two so. days. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put closer. it out there. Two days of funk. <laughs> By Alfred Enoch. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Absolute pleasure. Man. I love it. Man. Nice. It was nice amazing, nice man. Nice yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. Guys. And don't forget how to get away with murder. Wes Gibbons. That's the role he plays, and it's tomorrow <laughs> night. Um, that's ABC. Yeah, that's the big, big one. Time. Hell the, yeah, the big residuals. Big dog. Come on, <laughs> big checks right there, kid. Man, let's get seven seasons in. Get that uh syndicated money. <laughs> 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 Happy for you and proud of you, man. Yeah. Thanks. All right, continue yeah. success, okay? Appreciate it. Thank Absolutely. you guys very much for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. Come yeah. back anytime, yeah. Alfred. You're one of us. Yeah. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45. Shade 45.